So the Magnolia study was a global multi-center phase two clinical trial run across 31 countries, um, 31 centers in nine countries. And it was looking at xanabrutinib monotherapy in patients with relapsed and refractory marginal zone lymphoma. So it enrolled 68 patients, all of whom had received at least one prior line of an anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody therapy, but no previous BTK inhibitor. And the primary analysis of that study, which was published in 2021, demonstrated very high overall response rates for xanabrutinib and that led to the approval of xanabrutinib for relapsed and refractory marginal zone lymphoma. So what I presented today was another 12 months of follow-up um, making the final analysis of that study, so a total of 28 months of median follow-up. And what we observed was consistently high overall response rates. So regardless of the imaging modality, between 67 and 68% of patients achieved an obje objective response, about 25% of patients achieved a complete response. So clearly demonstrating durability of response. And at the end of that study, a significant proportion, so 31 of the 68 patients, were still benefiting from treatment and they were able to go on to a long-term extension study. But I think critically important for a treatment that's uh, open-ended is the long-term safety. And uh, clearly we know that the second generation BTK inhibitor Zanabrutinib has been specifically designed to bind uh, to the BTK receptor. So it has much lower off-target uh, inhibition and much fewer, or far fewer side effects compared to the first generation. And actually this has been borne out in the safety analysis with the longer term follow-up. So we've seen no new safety signals. We've seen very few emergent cardiovascular events, um, despite the population of enrolled patients having relatively high rates of hypertension and atrial fibrillation in their past history. And, you know, we've seen no new safety signals. Neutropenia is the most common high-grade toxicity, but this was extremely manageable. And actually only four patients in the entire cohort received GCSF, and there were only three cases of neutropenic sepsis. So we are very encouraged by the safety data. And uh, we looked at some of the data in comparison to a pooled analysis of xanabrutinib-treated uh, patients. So there were 1,500 patients patients in that analysis. And pleasingly, the results in Magnolia were very consistent with that. But, but rather more importantly was the comparison with pooled data for ibrutinib. So just over 400 patients with ibrutinib and looking at the cardiovascular toxicity, we're seeing a much lower signal overall of cardiovascular toxicity with a, a, a reduction in atrial fibrillation fourfold less in patients receiving xanabrutinib. So this really presents itself as a safe, effective and tolerable treatment for patients with marginal zone lymphoma, the vast majority of which are elderly, have comorbidities, and are simply not good candidates for standard immunochemotherapy. So really suggesting this as a, as a new standard of care for these patients.